It has been a deadly winter this season with at least four people dead after falling through the ice. While some lakes are now largely ice free, people are still ice fishing on others, particularly those in the north. The late ice season can be very dangerous and in recent days, Minnesota Department of Natural Resources con conservation officers have received numerous reports of vehicles falling through, the, through thin ice. The DNR says no matter how people choose to drive on the ice, they should check the thickness frequently. If a vehicle does plunge through the ice, it's best to escape quickly and through the side windows, as the doors might be held shut due to water pressure. The DNR advised to always have safety gear with those if you choose to go out onto the ice. One thing you can have is ice picks. Um, those are important. Everyone in the vehicle should have their own pair of ice picks um, to help themselves get out of the water on the ice if a vehicle does go through and then um, having flotation inside the vehicle, not actually being worn by people, but um, having it inside the vehicle so it's available if a vehicle does break through um, and people are stuck in the water and unable to get out. If a vehicle breaks through the ice, state statute requires the owner of the vehicle to report the date and circumstances surrounding the submergence to the sheriff of that county within 48 hours. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.